Welcome back. Today we are going to do a bullet comparison. But this bullet comparison is going to be a bit different than a lot of the others you see where people are shooting into a gel to see how it expands. Today we're going to see if Hornaday's claim of a heat shield really does hold up. So stay tuned. Today we're going to compare the ELDX to the Nosler Acubon. Hornaday claims that their polymer tip is a heat shield so that the friction that the bullet faces in the air is less likely to melt than the competition. So here's our competition. It's a 200 grain Acubond and we're going to burst it against 178 grain ELDX which the grain doesn't really matter because today we are going to put it next to a fire to see which one melts quicker. So this test uh, is a bit on the extreme. None of these bullets are going to face, you know, 700 to 1,000 degrees like it will right next to a fire while it's flying through the air. So we're going to get a quick, I guess, version of seeing how well it would withstand against the heat. Now, the bullet on the left is the ELDX, the Hornaday one, with the heat shield. And the bullet on the right is the Acubond. And they don't claim any kind of heat shield with their polymer tip. So I will be interested to see if Hornaday's heat shield is just something kind of gimmicky that uh, they just kind of throw in there or if it's actually legitimate. This experiment is going to be a bit crude, nothing fancy. So what I'm going to do is duct tape these two bullets together so that the tips are evenly matched. So One's not closer to the fire than the other. And then I'm just going to, to put it on a tong. So I'm just going to hold it with uh, tongs that I use for grilling. And then just see which one lasts longer next to the fire. There you go. There is a heat shield. To recap, Hornaday's claim to a heat shield seems to be valid. Uh, Hornaday's polymer tip, the ELDX polymer tip, lasted a lot longer than the Acubon's tip. But there's one thing to consider before we start saying, oh yeah, ELDX, you know, Hornaday's really onto something. It took about one minute for the Acubon to melt. Uh, so I'm not sure if the heat shield's really needed because your bullet is not going to be in the air for a minute ever unless you're shooting it straight up. And even then, it probably won't be up there for a minute. So hope you enjoyed the content. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.